So gentlemen, there is this guy out there. I've always called him soundboard guy. He, uh, he's the most famous radio operator you guys have never heard. You all know him. You've all heard him, but you've never like talked to him. This is the guy that is, woo, -woo, -woo. I got myself a TV antenna. You've all heard that clip getting played on the Super Bowl or Channel 11 or Channel 28 or 19. But you never knew who said it because he won't, he won't actually talk, talk to you. And he's got an amazing setup, amazing sounding radio. Sounds phenomenal. The other day I'm out there talking and I told him, I said, bro, well, you'll, you'll hear. I said, bro, you've got an amazing system. I can't believe you never talk on it. And without even hiccuping, he starts talking to me. So I drug him down to the bowl and me and him sat there and had a conversation, but <laughs> this is, this is uh, my newfound friend 310 in Arizona. Completely self-built equipment operator. I respect that. I mean, I really respect that. His radio is him, his amp is him, his antenna is, you'll, as you find out. Gentlemen, the sound clip soundboard guy that you all know, but none of you have ever talked to and have never heard of, but you all know him. 310. I got to tell you, man, you are the king of irritation. <laughs> I freaking love you and I hate you in the same breath because you are world famous. You don't even know it. But I, yeah, you know, you got to keep the humility there. But no, I have a lot of fun. And you know what? Every, all these guys, they always kind of like, what you find is like the most beautiful people that can take a sound bite and they start playing with it a little bit. And I have to stop just like you, uh, you know, and say hello, you know, because to me, somebody with that much of a good character, you know, they don't just like hate in the world, you know, just like want to call you a bunch of names. <laughs> Oh, no, dude. I've spoke to you a couple times on the radio. See, now, if I'm not mistaken, your handle's like Shockwave or something, right? No, no, I just go by 310 out here, and I'm in Phoenix, uh, well, out a suburb, Mesa. Yeah, I've been through there. I know where you're at. Yeah, you're not too far from my, my, my friend down there, Zane, at Big Rig. Right on, yeah. Yeah, no, I've seen your videos and uh, watched everything. I just got done getting uh, from VK Amps. I did uh, uh, put eight of those uh, MRF A, uh, 300s and put a, put a box together. Uh, I got ripped by a joker over there in South Carolina. He took my money and didn't want to send me nothing back. Well, um, <laughs> okay, so you know me, right? And you, you've you've heard my rules, right? I don't I don't talk politics, <laughs> I don't talk religion, and I don't talk um, you know race. And the other thing I do is I don't ever say anything bad about anybody. So I just I gotta walk away from that conversation. You know what I'm saying? But man, it's nice to actually get to talk to you and not just listen to the audio clips. Your radio sounds really good. I hope you know that. That's why I'm sitting here recording you because I want to send you the gate. Oh wow! Well, well, you know. Uh, I so yeah, I appreciate you to come from you. It means a lot. And I actually, I I worked real hard on it. I got it going, and then I I, I you did. It's got an asymmetry modulation thing. I even have my guitar. If I can uh, ring in there too. I'm not sure how this is sounding because I don't have a you know uh, anything tell me you know an external audio. Sounds like you're standing in the room with me. You're gonna love this. It sounds amazing. That's why I was like. I see you playing around down here on 6, and then I seen you go up to 19. I thought, man, I'm going to go grab his ass and see if I can get a recording of him and get him to actually talk to me, because it's just you and me out of here right now. There ain't nobody else on the radio. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I, I'm shocked. I mean, yeah, I, you wouldn't believe that. Like, I, I love know your rules, too. I, yeah, it's shocking that I would even, yeah, go that route. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you. And I, I, what's really funny is that to, like, when when you get to... 
I don't know, how should I say, yeah, seeing all your craftsmanship. I mean, a lot of times I have an old um, uh, messenger, you know, I've seen you like soup those things up. And I mean, mine is like, like I bought it. I, I bought it like 25 years ago, but it's, it still has the old pills in it, but it's not, you know, it doesn't have no, me nobody messed with it ever. Yeah, it's stock. Yeah, <clears throat> it's just stock. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, but this one I got to play with quite a bit. I put the what the what the thing I found for the LD Moss was the current limiter. Uh, up till then, I was dropping every time I'd force too much input into the amp. I was dropping a couple of the LD Moss, which after I did that twice, and uh, 300 bucks will get you like wised up real quick. And so I put a current limiter in it, and it dropped it. So every time if I do overdrive it, it just pulls pulls down, and I just have to put a but push the button and you know, reactivate it. Yeah, reset. And the other thing that you want to look at is maybe an input um, cutout. Because, I mean, <laughs> they, make, uh, they make input limiting boards now to where if you overdrive it, it'll also cut it out. It'll just pull the gate voltage off and shut it down. Oh, right on. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, that's, uh, but you know how we are. <laughs> what, you know, what, how far can it go? Well, let's see, you know, do the math and find out, you know, how many amps it'll draw and then set the current limiter to that. And then, then so, but no, I run it nominal now. I mean, it'll do a lot more, but it's really running sweet. Uh, and it's a 100% uh, duty cycle. It'll, uh, you know, shoot, these things were used, to, I guess, to, to make ovens, you know, the radiant heat and stuff. I'm not too sure what they developed the uh, uh, the MRF 300 for, but. I don't know if you hear it, but when I do the effect, I hate this, this little pre-pop. I've got a Roland audio input pad and all this stuff over here to, I could totally change how I have my entire system set up, but I, just don't have the time. I mean, if, if you came here and see how much stuff is here, I mean, I don't know if you watched the I'm Almost Caught Up video that I put out here about a month ago. I got so much stuff here, I don't have the time to touch any of it, you know what I mean? Oh, I can understand that, yeah. Yeah, I've been finally uh, doing pretty good. Yeah, over here in Phoenix, we you know we had dark trials and tribulations, but uh, I've been one of the fortunate ones to keep working through the pandemic. Everything uh, everything turned out nice. I have a bunch of toys now, uh, but everything's kind of got cleaned up. It's not doesn't look like uh, you know th there's no used cars in the front yard. <laughs> <laughs> when you come in here, it's a bunch of used cars. Just Use damps, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just freaking pile up to the ceiling over here. Oh, man. Um, dude, you're hitting me at 45 dBs. I don't know what you're doing for power right now, but you got me at 45 dBs. Yeah, yeah, just running that 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 uh, eight eight of those uh, um, MRF three hundreds with uh, you know it's a, it's actually in a, I found an old oscilloscope case uh, you know like a, you know the one with the tube in it the long tube and so it was all aluminum and so I just put put the amp in there it's it's uh, pretty 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 cool man actually it turned out I, I didn't think it would go after you know messing with I w really wanted to build a two sweet 16s together and that's what I was trying to get and when I so I was going to make a Viking and uh, so I was learning the combo doing the combina combiners and stuff and uh, then when I couldn't get the net the other uh, sweet 16 I went with the just I just started over and just bought two you know because you want to start with two identical amps to you know put them together so what inspired you to start trying to build? Uh, yeah, the lack of getting parts, and I just, uh, you know, uh, just just started uh, doing it myself. I don't know. Uh, basically, uh, get you know, did this not getting the the product that I wanted, and not being afraid to fail. That's true, you know. I started with the little MRF 300 uh, little starter packs from Mauser. You put them on a little aluminum block, and I started with those, and I built a kilowatt one with using a four-port combiner, and I started with that, and it works great. And then, so then I went and started with this. I did try the BFR 188s, but I smoked one of those, and that 
after that, I wasn't brave enough to buy another one. Did you ever see that video where I take a whole bag, like 50 of them, and drop them on the workbench and be like, yeah, these are all the ones I killed trying to figure out how to make this work right? Yes, I, I, and that's what made me feel a whole lot better. <laughs> but I realized, it, you know, they, they do a lot of, well, you know, uh, milling, you know, getting that, that chip, they inset it down and kind of solder it in. I mean, there's a lot of techniques. Even you, you know, you, your ability to dip the, the ends of cables and solder, you know, you got your hot dip solder. Being a plumber, I'm like, you know, I did the lead noakum days, you know. I, I'm about 55 years old. I'll be 56 coming up in a couple days. <laughs> Well, happy birthday, by the way, and happy fourth. But, you know, I tell everybody, you can't be afraid to fail, number one. You never can be afraid to fail. Number two, if it's broken, take it apart and try to fix it because it's already fucking broke. And number three, don't be afraid to fail. Never hurts to try. And everything I know how to do, I had to learn it from somebody else. That's the other thing. I've had a whole myriad of teachers like, the dipping of the wire and stuff, I learned all that from Prime. I literally, I've got a video out there. I think it's called Flux and Shit Up. Or I was sitting in his shop learning how to dip the wire. I learned how to do all that from somebody. Everything I know how to do and everything I show everybody is something I've learned from somebody else. And don't be afraid to teach people. Yeah, that's a good policy. I agree. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, yeah, being in the plumbing industry, I have a lot of access to a lot of cool stuff too. You know, that helps helps. You know, like I built my antenna structure is just a uh, Schedule 40 gas pipe. You know, I started with a two and a half inch pipe, and then I just like put a a gin pole next to it, so it has a pulley with a roller, and I just pulled the lengths up, so I can go 75, 80 foot in the air with a, just a single vertical. But when the using the two beams, I'm I'm probably about maybe 60 feet up there it doesn't do any good to go any higher it'll totally mess you up if you start going higher especially if you're on the flat side no no i'm running vert vertical two uh, vertical beams the, the only way that helps you is if you're trying to talk line of sight distance and skip it won't do you any good if you go higher yeah, yeah, it works really good for in town here. When I turn my beam, it gives like 100% rejection. These two beams do. I, I can turn it like we got North Phoenix guys. You know, the the clowns that have nothing to say but just for talking all day long. I hear you. I hear you. Well, I got to tell you, man, it was a pleasure getting to chat with you this evening. This is the longest I've sat on the radio in probably a month. Right on. I wish I knew some of your tunes, man. I'd give, give and rip one out, but I don't want to embarrass myself, especially if it's being recorded. <laughs> well, you got my phone number, right? I'm sure I can see it. Yeah, yeah, on, the, on, yeah, on, your, on your deal there. The beginning and the end of every video, on the wall and the, every video, and it's, of course, on my webpage, bbiamps.com. Facebook, it's on there. Um, Google search. <laughs> Grab my phone number, text me your email address, and I'll send you the recording of tonight, okay? Wow, that's awesome. I'm, I'm kind of, like, taken back at you and even, like, I, I try to take you in any problem in someone as insignificant as myself, you know. I got, like, feel like I just met, you know, kind of, you know, you're, you're just, like, so you know I appreciate uh, your candor and, and the conversation. I'm, I really do. You know, I, I get to share in a friendship with one of the most popular, most recognized individuals in radio. And we sit there and we talk about people. And the biggest lesson I ever learned from him was way back in the beginning. He was, don't, he goes, don't be like the rest of these clowns. Please don't. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, don't, don't ever think that you're any better than anybody else. Don't ever think that you're more special than anybody else. Because we're all the same. All of us. And a lot of these guys, the radio is their 15 minutes of fame. And don't disrespect that. And I took it to heart. And I treat everybody the same. I try to be pretty even keel. I try to be really respectful of people. And I just, I enjoy radio for what it is and the people that are in it. And I watch people, they get their egos and their minds get all trapped up and stuff. And I just sit there, I try to be the same. All the time. 
And dude, you're just as important to radio as I am, and that's a fact, and I hope you believe that. Well, I, I try to make, like, there's times I hear people uh, telling me from, like, uh, Idaho, and they're like, we were stuck behind a bunch of, sea, you know, traffic, and we're on the highway, and we got out of our trucks, and we heard you talking those sign bites to somebody. He was all drunk, and we let, sat there, and it was like, we were there for, like, two hours, but it felt like ten minutes. We were, they were like, the traffic's moving. And then, like, I broke up their day, you know. I was like, that was pretty cool. I, I, I was glad that, like, so, you know, they were... And taking it for what it, what, what it was meant for. See, that's my point. See, for radio to work, we all have to participate in it. We don't get to just... I've never understood that. When I was coming up, there was people that were all busy and they're all wrapped up in themselves. And Who did what? And who was where with who? And I did... You would have, he would have never figured that out unless I was blah, blah, blah. Dude, that ain't radio. What we're doing right now, this is radio. Roger? Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is your, uh, this is bare bones radio. I spent a lot of, a lot of months on this stuff, uh, uh, putting it all together and may, failing, like you said. I, I know a bunch of ways. I have a couple of radios behind me that I tried to do a symmetry modulation in that were like MOSFETs, and I couldn't get it to work. But I got these transistors to work good with it, and it didn't, doesn't get hot, and it works like uh, just really clean finally. Doesn't it make you feel better when you're sitting there running stuff that you built yourself? I know it does with me. I mean, every single thing over here, don't get me wrong, what's all inspired by somebody else or something I've seen some other place or something that somebody was willing to teach me, but I did it. I didn't call up somebody in some other state and hand them a giant pile of money. I built all of it. You know, that to me, that means something. Well, I've got to give you credit, too, because I wouldn't have built this without uh, the, all the, the, the gifts that you put online for us. Uh, I can swear to that, and I, re I should have mentioned that very fir first and foremost. Uh, I was just taken back by, first of all, talking to you in the first place, but, yeah, being able to, to watch your work through, get inspired me, because when I saw you, you know, you're cutting the cable on the HDMI output, and, and then, where, you know, and you led up to the fact that we're the driving of these things were, were the, the issue just like I ran into so I was like you, at least you like you, you said you told me that the, the, how should I say that the, it was shallow right there so luckily I didn't dive in and, and break my neck <laughs> well there's a lot of things in life brother where there's a swimming pool and there ain't no fucking lifeguard on duty but you gotta jump in the pool to get wet Roger that's true, but never far, you go in farther than you can get back out. That's a, yeah, a rule at hand, especially uh, we have people that jump in this man-made river out here in, Fe in Tempe, and they ended up drowning, you know, it's like, I guess no, no forethought of putting any kind of life preservers around the, the any, any place around there. Yeah, sometimes, my man, I'm going to let you go, the 16-minute long gate. Like I said, look up my phone number, text me your email address, and I will send you the gate of tonight. And it's line level, so you'll actually get to hear what you really sound like. Well, man, I'm uh, taken back again by uh, appreciate your time and, and all the candor and all the, the, the uh, work you've done and putting it on and in your interview with John over there. I was super. I mean, I, I, I want to so, say so much, but I hope you at least to get the point about my couch. Uh, I, I appreciate you so much. Well, play me some sound clips and we're going to wrap this up. Brother, I am just like you. I'm just a participant in radio, and I'm a humble servant to it, and I'm going to give the rest of my life to it. So with that note, I appreciate you, man. Keep up the good work. Keep irritating people with the sound bites, because it's all fun, right? It's all. We, yeah, definitely. <laughs> give me some family guy, brother. It was my understanding that there would be no questions asked. Amen. You ask a lot of questions, don't you? It was my understanding there would be no questions asked. Oh, crap. Have a good night, brother. I appreciate you. Be good. Click, click. Happy fourth. Awesome.